today we're going to be revisiting something we went over last week, which is mirroring a website uh, using wget. So real quickly, I'm in an empty directory here. As you can see, I list out the files. There's nothing there. We're going to use wget-m for mirror. And then at this point, all we have to do is http colon forward slash forward slash the name of the site. We'll just do filmsbychris.com, which is my site. And when we hit enter, it will start mirroring that site. We'll start downloading all the images all the HTML files, PHP files, basically everything on that site. Obviously, the larger the site, the longer it will take uh, to mirror. My site isn't that big and it wouldn't take very long, but I am just going to, oh, it's done already. I was just gonna kill it, but it finished already. So now, if I list out the files, you can see there's a folder in this directory called filmsbychris.com. So basically, doing the basic command for mirroring, wget-m in the domain name will create a folder uh, that is the domo domain name and if we move into that and list out files you can see all the files here and the subfolders such as images and if I open that up in my file browser here you can see that folder and we can go into it now an issue we uh, had last time when we were playing with this was um, some of these are PHP files um, and when you try to open them, they try to open up in a text editor, uh, which we do not want. But a viewer pointed out to me, and I don't know why I didn't realize this, they're not the actual PHP files. They're the output from the PHP files, because PHP files are server-side scripts. Same thing with CGI files, and there's other, other extensions too, depending on what type of server-side script you're using. And at least in regular use, uh, the end user shouldn't be seeing the script, they should be seeing the output of that script being run. So these are actually HTML files, because it's the, the PHP output. So for me to open this up in a web browser with ease, I would just have to name it HTML instead of PHP, and then I could open up in a web browser and it should look just like the regular page. Now. That would be a pain to go through and rename each of the PHP files or CGI files. You may have a combination of the two or three or whatever type server-side scripts you use. I mean, you could write a script, but there is a better way. So real quick, let's move out. We'll list the directory. We're going to just remove that folder. And you can see that folder's gone now. Now we're going to run basically the same command, but what we're going to do is so wget-m and the, the link that we want to download, the site we want to download. And if we do dash e, that changes any extension for server-side scripts, PHP, CGI, what, whatever. Um, and we'll add to the end of it .html. Now it will save it the PHP uh, on the extension as well so that you know that that on the actual server is a PHP script but it adds the .html to the files for you so that you don't have to worry about renaming them. Uh, I'm just going to once again, uh, oh, it's done again. I was gonna kill it again, it's just too fast for me. Let's move into that folder. Once again, it create a folder of the domain name and if I list it out, you can see that all the PHP files now have HTML posted on the end. So that solves one problem. Now, another viewer asked me, um, how can you control what the uh, output of the folder it creates? So by default, it creates a folder of the domain name. In this case, filmsbychris.com. And I'm actually going to remove that. Um, be good if I actually told it what to remove. There we go. Um, so once again, there's, if I type things right, there's nothing in this directory. What we can do is, well, we can add a prefix. So we can do wget-m http colon forward slash forward slash filmsbychris.com and we can say dash e so that it will rename those extensions and we can also do dash capital P and the e is capital as well, they are case sensitive and give it a name and we can say, we can say mirror. Now when we hit enter, it appears to be doing the same thing. I'm just going to kill it short here so we don't have to go through the whole process. But if I list it out, you can see there is a file or a folder called mirror. And if we move into that folder and list out 
Well, we almost got what we want because it did create a folder based on what we named, but then it created another subfolder based on the domain name, which you may want to do because you may want to create a folder that's a timestamp as a name, but still have the domain name because you may be backing up multiple sites. Um, but that's not what we were exactly looking for. So let's move back out, remove um, that folder. So once again, we're working in an empty directory. Now another command we can do, wget m http colon forward slash forward slash films by chris.com. And we can do dash capital E to fix the extensions there and dash n h, which will prevent it from uh, creating a folder at all. So now if we hit enter, once again, starts downloading all the files, adding HTML to the end of any server side script. If I control C to kill this, now if I list out the files in my current directory, you can see it didn't create a folder at all. It just created the files within the folder I'm in. Now you could write a script that will create a folder, move into it, and then run that script. But let me real quickly, once again, remove all the files in here, working with an empty directory. Same exact command, but adding in that dash p, and we'll say mirror. So, and you can, once again, this is what I'm naming the folder. You can name it whatever you'd like. wget dash m for mirror, the domain, the site that we want to mirror, dash e to add the HTML extensions, dash nh, um, which I'm drawing a blank. I want to say no header, um, but I that, that, that doesn't sound right. Um, basically, that prevents it from creating a default folder with a domain name, but then we give it a dash p to create a folder, uh, prefix folder for it to go into. So now if I hit enter, once again, it starts going through the same process. I'm going to quickly control C to kill it here. But you, we can list out and you can see there's a folder called mirror. We can go into that folder and list it out and see there's no subfolder. It's just that site. So that would be how you accomplish that. Real quick, we'll look at that command again. Just to clarify, wget dash m to mirror the site you want to mirror dash e to add the extensions. Once again, it's a capital E dash nh lowercase n capital H for preventing it from creating a folder based on the domain name dash p for creating your own folder. It's a capital P and then the name of the folder you want to create. So now I can. Uh, go up one folder. So I'm back in my tutorial folder here that I started in and I can run this command and instead of mirror I can say new mirror or whatever I'd like to call it. Let's give it an underscore to make it easier to read there. Oh, you should try to avoid spaces and file names and folder names just to prevent headaches in the future. We'll hit enter and I'll just once again control C so it doesn't run through the whole thing. But now you can see I have two folders and if I list out the one that is in the new mirror, it is the files that was downloaded. So I hope this helps you out. I thank you for watching. Please visit us on Facebook. There's a link in the description. Hope to see you in our IRC channel on Freenode. That's Pound Films by Chris. And I hope that you have a great day.